just finding my community has been really hard so I feel like just pressing that into the skin I don't know hey welcome back to my channel I'm a little bit more chipper today than my last video I think it just takes me a while to get in the groove of things and I think it gets me a little unmotivated because I feel like not a lot of people watch I just kind of do it for me it's something to do I have a lot a lot of downtime with modeling I'm talking too much doing a makeup tutorial get ready with me ish I'm gonna do some skin prep first I have two ish looks in mind but I think this is what I'm gonna go for yeah so I'm gonna prep the skin with some Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum. I need a new camera because it just doesn't focus on products and stuff. It used to, I don't know what happened. This is just kinda gonna rehydrate my skin throughout from just my day. I had a lazy day today. I did go for like a 20 minute walk, but going into the city today in Manhattan, I'm taking my partner to this place. It's we're celebrating his birthday because his actual birthday he had food poisoning so couldn't really do too much so i'm excited to like take him out tonight and it'll be really fun and all that stuff we just want the skin nice and hydrated i'm going to do my brows first i'm also going to apply this lip plumper just for like a little prep i'm gonna go in with some nyx brow glue i think i prefer the anastasia beverly hills brow wax we're gonna use this today i plucked my eyebrow too far on this side like down that's fine just brushing the brows up and kind of making them go out instead of like down i feel like when my eyebrows go down it kind of like droops droops my face i don't like that we're gonna fill them in too but i'm just gonna let that set first and then first we're gonna move on to eyes actually which i never do since we're going to the place tonight i want to kind of do like an eye look lining the waterline with this it's hard for me to like line the, the top lash line because i get like you know I haven't made videos in a while because I moved to New York City and I have to be honest, like if any if anyone is watching and cares, it was like a little bit of a rough start for me. Even until like now. I've been like a full time model with like disposable income since maybe last September. So it's been about six months. I don't know, it was like a, it was tough. Like I didn't have a lot of friends here when I first moved and just finding my community has been really hard so I feel like I didn't have like the mental capacity to start like my YouTube channel again because like where I left off I was gaining some type of followers long story short I just have been away for a little while trying to find myself and feel like I have since the last even just like few weeks I've been going to yoga and just kind of focusing on myself and just realizing that there's different parts of your life that you need to adjust to I guess that was a long story I rambled too far with that one rambled too far with that one I did nothing too crazy on the eyes actually I just wanted to line the waterline and like the top right there and take this brownish orange shade and keep going with that on like the outer part of my eye I will say I'm good at base makeup I think but when it comes to eyeshadow and stuff I'm a little rusty I can't lie we're gonna try to create like a smoky eyeliner type vibe so I think that's all we're doing to that side I've been really liking my neighborhood lately I live in Bushwick I just feel like I've really found a community in a sense, but just like a more of like appreciation for where I live. That's pretty much done and I think what I'm going to do too is put a little translucent powder or powder over it to kind of soften that line there. Kind of pretend like it's not there. I have to be ready in like an hour. I think that's doable. I'm just doing the brows. I haven't done my makeup like this in a while. I've been trying to be wholesome focus on my my mental okay now we're gonna move on to foundation i'll show you my outfit too i think i'm just gonna put my hair up in a ponytail because my shirt is like an open back i'll probably have to call an uber because i want to wear heels i never get to wear heels okay we live in the city i never have the opportunity to because we're always walking everywhere since this is the only like spot we're going to i feel like i can do it you know my skin is really like soaking in the products today do you see my skin right now? So we're gonna go in with Miss House Labs. I think she's a pretty good match for me, especially to like my actual skin, like on my hand. I can't remember if this is the foundation I used for the makeup look I'm recreating on myself. Not too sure about that one, folks. Not too sure. 
I kind of start on my hand first and then transfer on the skin. I don't know why I do that, but it feels a little bit more of like a technique. My light went out. What the fuck? I'm wiping the lip plumper off. I'm gonna like kind of paint over my lips a little bit because I'm gonna be putting lip liner on. I also was watching my old videos. First of all, they're so cringe. I just feel like I look so much like oh like so cute you didn't know like what was gonna happen to you i hope that's not too dark but like oh she had so much confidence and hope <laughs> that sounded really dark i'm happy right now i don't want to get into it because there's probably like two people watching okay foundation is done now that i kind of looked at myself though i am not too sure if i wore concealer or not i really just don't know but we're gonna put it on a little bit like a little bit here not too much okay not too much very undetectable just a little bit you know and we'll blend that out with this my beauty blender sorry if you hear the people outside it is a friday so people are ready to party including me although this is this is what i like to do okay when we're going out i'm really young okay i'm like 23 but one thing about me i don't love clubbing i just don't i never have i don't think i ever will and what i like to do is go to like a cool lounge or like a dinner spot where there's like awesome drinks and cool vibes and sit that's important sit sometimes i like to stand but sitting and drinking having a little vibe staying for like two hours and then zipping okay I, I mean like if i'm with my partner that's what i like to do if i'm with like a group of people maybe i can party a little hard i guess or party a little more but when i'm with my partner we can gra grab a drink have really good food vibe and talk and then get back to the crib and watch a movie and usually a scary movie because that's just what we like to do in fact, that's absolutely what we're doing tonight. I used to not like to film makeup videos because I didn't like that I couldn't like talk. But I think what I'm just gonna do from now on is talk into my makeup. Kind of like I'm talking to a friend because I have no friends. I have friends, but oh, I just feel like when I'm, I've just been getting older and like not loving hanging out with people anymore. Just blending out that merit contour. If the lighting changes, I'm so sorry. Oh, I found a little less sunlight. The lighting is making my skin look really good too, but I also promise that it's also the foundation and the skin prep. It's all about that kind of stuff. Also what I like to do is take this gimme brow stuff and put it in like the, the front section of my brows. It kind of gives it some fullness. See how that kind of like enhanced the fluffiness in the front? Now we're moving on to some powder. I'm just taking the Patrick Ta powder there's also a foundation in here, and I do like that foundation, but I don't know what it is. It's like I loved it at first, and now I try it, and I'm like just kind of liking House Labs a little more. But the powder is really good. I still use the powder. Clearly. Also, I got gifted from this makeup artist the Tarte No Crease, the No Crease Concealer by Tarte. It's, it's no crease for real, for real, for real. And I was like so surprised when I first use it because I'm like, the big reason why I never wear concealer is because it creases, but the tar actually is truthful and it doesn't crease, I promise. Like I do set it still, but like a very, very light amount and it doesn't crease, I promise. I also take this Patrick Ta contour and there's also a cream in here, but I just use the powder. Kind of go over the Mara bronzer, kind of go over the Mara bronzer. Okay, now we're gonna move on to blush. I like this part. It's interesting, he puts the the powder on first actually. This is what he recommends, Mr. Patrick Ta. He puts the powder first and then the cream. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm wondering where I, put, I placed the blush last time because it's very important. I like to put it like right here, put it on my nose too. I know it looks a little crazy, but I'll fix it. Just pressing that into the skin. And I like a lot of blush when I'm doing a look like this, but if you don't, it's fine. You definitely don't have to. It is kind of turning out how like I wanted it to last time, so that's nice. Um, you see how it's like dewy right there? Just put like a little right here, like I was in the sun or something. I was in Puerto Rico. Let's check what time it is. Still 40 minutes. So that means I did my makeup. I'm almost done, so I have almost done my makeup in like 20 minutes. It'll probably be like 30 minutes by the time I'm done. So in that case, I'm gonna add a little jawline vibe here. 
so did a little jawline vibe. The thing about me and like jaw contouring is that like I, I don't ever do it. I just don't know if I'm doing it right, but I'm doing something. Something is happening here. We're gonna do some mascara now. Very cute, very fun, very fresh. I don't love wearing mascara, but it looks like this. I think it's a little unnecessary. That curl is, is great. My old videos on my YouTube channel are so cringy. <laughs> I can't stand it. I wanna delete them, but like, they're also like nostalgic to look back on. This mascara is like too intense. That's like one coat. I'm not kidding. My lashes are also really long. My bowl. Ooh. My boyfriend told me that TikTok is on trial. It probably should be. I deleted it a little while ago. I don't like social media because when it comes to social media, I just don't have a lot of self-control. And so like when I wake up in the morning, I just go on it. So I think it's better for me to just out of sight, out of mind kind of vibe. Oh shit, I forgot to carve out my brows. I'm just gonna carve them out a little bit. Okay, your brows are carved out. They start getting over it towards the end of my makeup. I just want it to be done. I feel like I could be a good makeup artist if I really tried. Just powdering right here to sculpt that out a little more. Now for the fun part, some lip liner. I'm using Huda Beauty in Sandy Beige 2.0. I'm like so glad I found this lip liner because before this lip liner, I liked KKW Beauty, but they like, you know, she was rebranding or whatever. So my like favorite lip liners weren't there anymore. And I was so sad. I like the Huda Beauty ones because they're so buttery and like they slide on really easily. I'm gonna add a little setting spray. Okay, I'm gonna pick out my outfit. I'm gonna try to not be upset. The outfit I wanted to wear is not working out because it's supposed to go with stockings and they ripped. I'm so sad about it, but this is the outfit. I have like little um, heels. But that's why I literally hate getting stockings because they always rip. So sad, I'm gonna try something else and report back. So the previous outfit didn't work, but I ended up liking this one way better anyway. So I feel like it actually really worked out. I was about to have a meltdown. So let me check the jewelry. So cute. But it worked out. I had gotten this like oversized blazer not too long ago and I haven't worn it yet. She's getting put to use today. I ended up going with this like oversized blazer. I don't know if you can see me. I like these tight pants, but they're like boot cut at the, at the end with these like super cute heels. Heels are like covered. I'm gonna take this cologne. I love this cologne. It's supposed to smell like cigars. Oh, it's Jazz Club. It's kind of the vibes I'm giving right now. I could also wear these super cool like 60s or 70s like glasses even. Ooh. Even these would be cool. I love with the glasses, but they put in so much work in the makeup that I just feel like she needs a moment. I don't know. I did end up wearing the glasses. Okay, guys, well. Thank you so much for watching. I know that kind of was a little bit of a ride. She's done nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching. If anyone is watching, please recommend a video like you'd like to see or some, I don't know. I'm just kind of getting back into the hang of things. My hair is really long now. But thanks so much for watching. Bye. Okay, I'll do a couple poses for you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. My guy pretty like a girl And he got five stories to tell I see both sides like Chanel See on both sides like Chanel Swimming laps through pool water Eating like I'm underworld Had my tattoos in Shibuya Police think I'm of the underworld